Today we're talking about vacuum leaks and how they affect the readings from the mass airflow sensor and manifold air pressure sensor. Next! This video is sponsored by Intermotor, genuine import parts. Visit intermotorparts.com for more information. A vacuum leak is air entering into the engine in other than expected means. The expected means on most engines are the idle air control or the throttle body. When this happens, it changes the data coming from the mass airflow sensor and also the manifold air pressure sensor. The mass airflow sensor is typically placed in front of the throttle body. So if you have a vacuum leak like this that is in back of the throttle body, air is gonna enter through here and not through here. What does this do for the mass airflow sensor? Well, it's actually gonna decrease the amount of air flowing through it. So it's gonna read lower grams per second through it. So there's gonna be less fuel added to the engine. Eventually the oxygen sensor is gonna catch on and start adding fuel until the fuel trim is in the correct range. If the vehicle has a manifold air pressure sensor or MAP sensor, and a vacuum leak is present like ours on the intake manifold, it's gonna interpret this as lower pressure inside the intake manifold. And in engine terms, that equals more load on the engine. When there's more load on the engine, it's going to add fuel and maybe even change the spark curve. But the oxygen sensor is eventually gonna catch on, just like in the case of our mass airflow sensor. So, with a vacuum leak, these two sensors interpret the leak two different ways but the ECU is eventually able to correct it and even set a code if the problem is bad enough. I'm Andrew Markell, thank you very much.